Hey everyone, my name is Nolan, and today we're going to count down the top 20 heavy weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. Now, I'm not going to lie, guys, this list might make a lot of you guys mad, and a lot of you guys might disagree. However, again, it's just my opinion, and yeah, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say. So, I'm going to love the comments on this one. If you guys want to let me know your guys' personal favorite heavies, go ahead and do that down in the comment section. And do not forget to subscribe and turn notifications on for more weekly top 20 videos from me. And without further ado, let's just just jump into the video for this video i'm only going to mention one honorable mention and that's the heavy cone minigun and it is actually pretty decent for getting kills although not all that great but what really makes this weapon very very useful is the fact that it restores full health after reloading making it very very useful for raids maybe even duels or team strike so yeah that's just why i was like well i'll put it in honorable mentions because it's not really good for getting kills but it is still pretty useful all right now let's move on to the actual list in number 20, I'm going to go with Destruction System, and I know already the comments are going to be furious as to me putting this so low on the list, but guys, this heavy isn't really all that great, and I hope the gameplay will show you guys that it is, it does do quite a bit of damage, however, it's still not enough to one-shot, so it pretty much never one-shots, then you have a slow fire rate to work with, and also a kind of small aoe however it is pretty good with three cat but again since you rely on three cat for this weapon to be good i'm just like you know what i'm gonna slap this at the bottom because by itself it's really not all that great of a heavy but it is still good enough to be in the top 20 position next up i'm gonna go with frozen heart and this weapon i think has the highest aoe for any heavy weapon in the game it's just so incredibly massive so it's pretty easy to hit shots with frozen heart it has pretty high base damage but again not really enough to one shot which is kind of what drags this weapon down because it has a very very slow fire rate making it not really all that great for spamming and there's just better weapons to use so for that reason i'm going to put it in the number 19 spot next up is going to be howl of the mummy and this weapon would be so much higher on this list if it didn't have freaking fixed delay but the fixed delay just drags this weapon down so much yeah it's fixed delay isn't that great or that bad i guess i should say so you could still technically use it with three cat if you really wanted to work around the fixed delay but it's just like man the fixed delay i, I it just makes it so much worse but it is still pretty decent for spamming it is instant travel time and weakening which makes it pretty good so for that reason i feel like it still deserves to be top 20 but just not that high on the list next up is going to be spirits whisper and spirits whisper is a consecutive explosion heavy weapon which of course means it can go through walls it's super easy to hit shots with so yeah spirits whisper is just kind of generally overpowered however in the grand scheme of heavies it isn't like ridiculously overpowered yeah, it's going to be really good in close range maps and duels and team strike, but it, as soon as you put space between you and your opponent, it actually gets kind of bad um, because the farther away you are from someone, the less damage it does, but it is still generally a two shot, which is pretty good. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of good for spamming. Next up is going to be Perfect Rocket Launcher, and this is just kind of a very, very well-rounded rocket launcher. It's just, in the grand scheme of things, it's not all that great. It is about a two-shot, but its AoE is pretty bad. Um, it has a very low capacity, which is kind of annoying, uh, but other than that, you know, it is just generally a good uh, heavy weapon, so I'm like, yeah, let's just throw it on the list. It's, it's pretty well-rounded, good for everything, rocket jumping, killing, whatever it may be. Next up is going to be PGA TV, and I'm not going to spend a long time on this weapon just because it's very, very similar to Spirit's Whisper, just with a slower fire rate, but more damage. And so I figured in the grand scheme of things, you might as well go with more damage because Spirit's Whisper doesn't one-shot bots, but PGA TV does. So I'm like, let's just put PGA TV on the list because it just does more damage. Next up, I'm going to go with System Scorpion, and System Scorpion is also a pretty, pretty well-rounded heavy weapon. It has a pretty good amount of damage if you guys want to get kills, but getting kills isn't really what I would use this weapon for because it has fixed delay. Uh, if you wanted to get kills with it, you'd have to spam it, which is like, I mean, I guess it's still pretty good for spamming and getting kills because it has super rocket jump, so you can kind of move all over the place, and yeah, it's just, it's just a pretty well-rounded heavy weapon, I guess. Good for movement. Kind of good for getting kills if you wanted to fully commit to this heavy weapon. Um, yeah, it's just pretty good. Next up is going to be Streaming Beast, and this is a very, very good heavy weapon for spamming. All Stream Beam weapons, in my opinion, are very, very overpowered because of how easy it is to melt through people. And not only is Streaming Beast a very high DPS Stream Beam weapon, but it also restores your armor, which not a lot of weapons do. 
So that makes it very, very useful because not only does it do a lot of damage, but you can also use it to restore health which is very good for raids, clan raids, whatever it may be, I don't know. Um, if you're maybe in the duels and you want to restore armor pretty fast, this is a good weapon. I'm pretty sure it restores 10 armor per tick. However, I could be wrong, but still, Streaming Beast, just generally a good weapon to use. Very useful and pretty dang OP, especially if you're an aim assist user. Next up is going to be Event Horizon, and Event Horizon, I, I know it probably shouldn't be this low on the list, however, the reason why it is is because it can be pretty hard to hit a direct shot, and you need to hit direct shots if you want it to one-shot. If you do manage to directly hit someone, it will one-shot every time, which is pretty nice. However, if you don't, the plasma rocket damage isn't really all that great. But, it is still useful because it weakens enemies. So basically, it's very, very easy to weaken enemies, making it extremely useful for, like, team strike, duels, uh, whatever you need, like, we you need to, like, weaken people for. So I'm like, yeah, it's pretty useful. The plasma rocket is pretty useful, and if you manage to direct hit, it will one-shot, making it pretty good. So, Event Horizon, it's a pretty good heavy weapon. Next up is going to be Coal Frightener, and I know this might surprise a lot of you guys, however, what you guys may not know is Coal Frightener is always a two-shot if you manage to kill them quick enough when they are under the Cursed Effect influence. Uh, if you hit someone and you are able to kill them in the next, like, five seconds or so, yeah, you're going to two-shot, which is very, very nice. It has the Cursed uh, attribute or whatever, which basically makes the next shot do, like, double damage or something, I don't really know. So... This weapon is very, very consistent. You can rocket jump with it, which is super nice. So it's just a pretty good heavy weapon for spamming and for rocket jumping or whatever. So I feel like that this weapon needs a lot more recognition because it's actually pretty dang good. And I use it quite a bit for getting kills. Next up is going to be Dislike, and despite, like, no one using this weapon anymore, it's actually still pretty dang good. I can't, let me see if I can find his headshot damage really quick off the top of my head. Nope, I don't have it right here, but it does a lot of dam- actually, yeah, 230 headshot damage, which is crazy. It's still one-shot headshots, so I'm like, man, maybe people should start using this weapon more, or maybe they shouldn't, because it seems to still be pretty dang good. 164 base damage, 230 headshot damage, that's definitely still pretty good, um... But, again, the fire rate is pretty slow, and I think that they nerfed the rocket speed, which is kind of annoying. So, for that reason, I feel like it performs a little bit worse than the weapons that are coming up. But, yeah, whatever. I think it's still pretty good, nonetheless. Next up is going to be Bad Clown, and this, I'm pretty sure, is the best mines heavy weapon in the game. Uh, it might even one-shot sometimes. Um, it's not really supposed to, but it's usually a two-shot, which is pretty nice. Um, that's not if people run over the mines. What you guys may not know is that... A direct mines weapon, a direct shot from a mines weapon does more damage than if someone was to just walk over the mines. So, that being said, Bad Clown is a two-shot direct shot heavy weapon. I don't know how much damage it actually does if you just walk over the mines. However, I know that it's more than most mines weapons because Bad Clown was just separated from, like, you know, the rest of the mines weapons. Also, it is pretty good for block crash if you can still use it in block crash. I, I really... It need to get my crap together here because I apparently don't know a lot about these weapons. Next up is going to be Cat Bomber, and Cat Bomber is just a very, very good weapon for 3-cat in my opinion. It has a fast fire rate, and it will always 2-shot, which is pretty nice. I don't think this one has... No, this one doesn't have blindness. Um, But yeah, it's just a pretty good, consistent uh, weapon to use with 3-cat and for spamming. It doesn't have fixed delay, which is pretty nice. Um, its ammo isn't all that great, but what's just, what's just nice is that it's a reliable 2-shot heavy weapon. Similar to that, we have Mad Colorer, which is basically just Cat Bomber or Bomber Cat, whatever the name of it is. It's basically just Bomber Cat with more damage, fixed delay, and blindness. So, it basically just depends on if you guys want fixed delay for 3-cat or more damage and blindness for spamming. So, you guys can kind of rearrange Bomber Cat and Mad Colorer depending on your preferences. But, either way, they're still very good, very consistent, and very reliable. Alright, next up in the, I think, six through one spot, all of these heavy weapons can kind of be rearranged based on personal preference and playstyle, because as I used all these weapons, they all kind of performed equally, and they're all equally overpowered, so let's get into it. And Deadly Bee, in my opinion, is extremely overrated, because it never one-shot, I mean, it does one-shot sometimes, but I upgraded mine to Mythical, I use level 7 modules, I have Pumpkin Mask, Custom Cape, whatever the extra damage is needed, and it still 
did not one shot all the time and i in my opinion a heavy weapon that shoots this slow should definitely one shot with that much extra damage equipped um, so it's just kind of frustrating when it doesn't even with counter modules it's just like it's such a slow heavy weapon that when it doesn't one shot you're kind of screwed over however it still does a lot of damage so if you guys use it for three cap because it doesn't have fixed delay it's gonna give it's gonna give you some very very good performance because of its huge damage so yeah deadly beep it's pretty good but in my opinion just overrated next up is gonna be pixel color refresher and i think that this is the best rocket jump heavy weapon in the game because of its super rocket jump its high fire rate and its acceleration after killing an enemy so it's the best movement heavy weapon in the game like just because of that so if you manage to kill someone you have a speed you have a speed boost uh you can rocket jump around the map very quickly it has high capacity so it's just all around a very very good uh heavy weapon and if you guys are looking for good movement in the heavy category this is in my opinion the best weapon you can get from the gallery for coupons in the heavy category however um, if you're looking for kills, there are going to be some other heavy weapons coming up right now. Next up is going to be Sock Bomber. Sock Bomber is a very, very overpowered heavy weapon for spamming because of the rocket speed and the ricochet. It just makes it very easy to hit people and it will always like two shot, maybe even one shot sometimes, which is pretty overpowered. Uh, Sock Bomber, it's going to like overperform in maps like pool party or silent school where enemies are gonna be very very close together however in long range maps you're gonna get a little bit worse gameplay and so for that reason it's gonna be lower on the list because you kind of have to be in specific maps in order for it to perform good so yeah sock bomber it's still very overpowered i mean number four in top 20 heavies is still very good so it's no joke next up is gonna be anniversary big buddy and i know that this weapon is pretty slow however it's still more useful than deadly beat because you can actually rocket jump with it uh it stuns enemies which is pretty useful it has it from what i've experienced a higher aoe and just from gameplay i don't really know but just from gameplay it one shot more so i'm like yeah i'm, I'm gonna put it higher above deadly beat even though they're kind of similar and it has a small fixed delay so if you wanted to use it with three count you could but still i wouldn't really recommend it because i've already given you uh, actually, I really haven't given you too many 3 cat heavy weapons you can get with coupons, but there, there will be one right now, okay? Next up, <laughs> Christmas Ultimatum. Yeah, this is a very, very overpowered heavy weapon. You can use it with 3 cat because it has no fixed delay, and if you can directly hit someone, it will one-shot with all the, like, excess cluster bombs included. So, it's just very, very overpowered for spamming because it's cluster bomb and has a really high AoE. So it's pretty easy to hit people, it does a lot of damage, and it's just all around extremely overpowered. And on the topic of overpowered heavy weapons, in the number one spot I'm going with Invincible Lion, just because overall I feel like that this kind of performs the best out of all of them. It has the highest DPS of any weapon in the game, which is hopefully saying something. It has super punch, it has headshot damage enabled, it doesn't do self-inflicted damage so you can rocket jump with it. Um, I, I hope that's all I need to say. It's it's so freaking overpowered, dude. This thing is a beast. Um, again, though, I will say its major caveat is long-range maps. If you start to get into long-range maps, it will start to perform less. Uh, even in North Pole, it was still performing very, very good for me. However, if I was to go into like a map like Heaven Garden, it, w it definitely wouldn't perform as well as a weapon like Christmas Ultimatum or Deadly Beat. And so for that reason, that's why I was like, number six through one can definitely be rearranged um but yeah i i just in my in my personal opinion gonna put invincible line as number one and you can get it with coupons by the way so guys that's gonna wrap up the video there i hope you guys enjoyed this video or maybe found it helpful again if you did don't forget to subscribe for more top 20 weapons from me and also don't forget to let me know what your guys' favorite heavy weapons are down in the comments and i'd like to thank you guys all for watching and i hope to see you guys all in the next video peace